Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Um. I can't remember. <laughs> I had something I wanted to talk about, like, quite heavily, but as I sit here, it's completely gone. Uh, I guess I got a good one. That was pretty gross, but oh well. Um, intelligent men and finding women. Why I believe that it's difficult right now in this day and age for intelligent men to find a woman. Um, uh, to be honest, I'm going to actually be talking about highly intelligent people because I think intel there's there's a there's a line where intelligence becomes erratic and um, um, so so original that it isn't general. So like. You know, you have highly intelli intelligent people out there who are good at, um, you know, like, their university course or being able to dissect um, in quite complex topics that they are particularly in. That's to say that this, they went uh, to university to do um, physics and they could start talking about, you know, many different topics which cover that subject including you know space whatever space whatever um but you try and get them to talk about philosophical uh social um um metaphorical um or even logical um conversations it doesn't really apply to them they don't really know what to say they're still in the sheep crowd. And then you get to that higher level where the person is generally highly intelligent and knows, you know, quite interesting, important topics in nearly every subject. And it goes into uh, a very philosophical, they understand social, philosophical art. But, but, and that's where I stand. Where you know, I, I always catch. I always catch it like, you know, I'm listening to a reviewer talk about this music and I'm like, wait, yeah, I am that guy who, you know, I listen to like five new albums a day, um, a week and, um, you know, I'm, comp I'm very indulged and very uh, on top of what music is and what music is doing creatively and art and what's, you know, and the same applies with film. The same applies with art, painting, general. The same applies with social interaction. The same applies with uh, how men and women are working. The same applies with many different areas. And I wonder, like, how I'm into so many topics, so many gaming, so many criterias, and I have such an understanding of them. And I guess it's that, uh, the just intense high level of intelligence that I'm continuously... Um, um, educating myself on so these particular topics I'm continuously educating myself on and continuously addicted to um, but going back to dating I'm 24 had a seven and a half year relationship about a year ago um, haven't had a relationship since women seem to be very um, not interested um, some women are, I get some, but not a lot, and, um, I'm trying to find the link of why, and I think that the way culture is right now, um, well, basically I believe that the biological innate routine and lifestyle of a woman and a man has been confused and we are living in a world with a state of confusion when it comes to how we view um, reality so for instance men and women are, are different and we have many traits that make us different 
but we're living in a society where we're trying to create equal which i don't actually believe i think women are still very bitter and have resentment over the lifestyle that they had which they think is what's making them sad when it isn't so what they're what they think is depressing and sad is that men have been operating the world and that's why they're feeling uh, low. When in actual fact the reason women are feeling low is because they're not in their natural state. So it's a complete contradictory method of thinking. So they're living in a vicious cycle of hating and resenting life while they're the ones going against their purpose um so not all in fact i have a friend called lauren she and she isn't in there she could be um i think she could make really good wife material for someone um but i believe that her she's one of the strongest women i've ever met actually um but it's incredibly difficult for her because she's going against it at the same time. So, um, I believe that abortion is wrong. Like, it's quite, if you, there's this thing called Logos. Logos means order of the universe. Order. Just order. And what's the opposite of order? Chaos. And when that linked into the categories of everything that I have been taught, so each time I have an opinion or thought, my Logos is now fit in and dissects and evaluates my thought process, I realise that I have been confused what is order and chaos. Okay, so for instance... Is, no matter what, is killing a baby inside of you order of chaos? And you don't take, you don't want to put, like, yeah, but the thing is, you don't know what she's going through. So if she has it, it could be chaos for her. That's irrelevant. That That is irrelevant at this right moment. That's a conversation, but this is irrelevant right now. I'm just asking, yes or no, order or chaos, is killing a baby inside of you order or chaos? And the answer is, is that it's chaos. And I think it's quite, and you know, oh, what happens if she got raped? Give it to a uh, adoption. What happens, if, you know, continuous? And then it's the question of, oh, but if we kept all these babies and the overpopulation of the earth, how would it work? Well, it is a, the reason we have got to erode through millions of different pathways of how human beings have, have we have chosen as a society. The pathway of adopt, uh, abortion has happened to the point where ladies are continuously having abortions and having uh getting rid of their children and if we could fix that i believe that many other situations of how we consciously view life would be fixed to the point of balance where we're completely out of balance right now and we're living in a world of chaos and i think that the fact that we've got to a point where it's okay to just walk in have a pill or walk in and just get it shoved out of you and think it's normal and it's okay and convince yourself. I think the reason women get so angry and are so volatile when they hear people are pro-life and not pro-choice is because they have guilt deep inside of them that they're not thinking about because they're not looking at logos or logic, considering that I, I can never understand what it means to have a baby. I'm a man, no matter what I do, I can never understand what it feels like to have a baby, even less than a woman who's never had one because she has the innate sense and understanding what a baby's going to do because a body is created for it and um even i know that there's guilt inside of killing something that was born uh, brewing inside of me like that um but yeah we live in a society where um everything is worked on a cycle of work to buy capitalism work to buy capitalism now, I'm not a socialist. I'm not somebody that wants a communist state to the point where everything's equal because that won't work. Everybody is individual at the end of the day. I don't want equality because we're not equal, even on individuals. But I do believe that the state of what capitalism has become has become toxic to the point where it's run by power and not run for the people. Where capitalism can be run for the people, but right now in society and culture, whatever you want to call it, it isn't. It's run by power and make it and greed. 
And uh, I think that's the vicious cycle of what work and buying is, work and buying. And because people don't have God in their heart anymore or God in their soul, they have rejected the state of this is all random and this is all scientific matter. Instead of looking at their consciousness and ability to understand that they have a soul innately, immediately in senses. Um, because people have rejected God and the morality that God gives you, um, people are very suicidal, lost and wanting lust and doing the seven deadly sins on a continuous basis thinking it's normal. There are many, many slutty women out there, women who are continuously uh, getting fucked and, and using that uh, 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 nice feeling inside of their, I'm going to be volatile, I don't give a fuck, um, inside of their pussy, right, like that. Oh, you know, you know, when you have sex with a girl, the reaction of you to the reaction of her is completely different. She is like having this whirlwind of um, exotic, um, for instance, it's more intense, more pleasurable and more satisfying as a, for a woman, it seems to me. As at the time, many times I've had sex, it seems like for her it's this powerful, incredible thing where for me I'm lusting over her beauty and I'm going to come. <laughs> Unless I have love sex, which is another topic. But, um, yeah, I think that we capitalism was initially made and run by men. And it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a state that men, it works for men, considering if you go back to the routine, because nothing, no matter what, we do evolve, but we don't evolve the innate ability, the innate, the innate of a woman and a man. You know, that's something that society, uh, evolution wants to keep. Evolution doesn't want us to be equal. It wouldn't make sense for it. It needs the pattern of cycle, what it is. And every time a society goes against their biology, um... Uh, war happens and loads of different cra uh, craziness happens on the world, especially mental health. Um, but because capitalism and the working structure was be begun for men, um, and now women have been placed into it, for instance, in the 1950s, a woman could stay at home with the children. By the way, I'll say it every single time on a video, uh, raising a child is the most important job you'll ever have. Raising a, full, a fully functional, rational, um, beautiful child is the biggest job you'll ever have. And for some reason, they think that is not what they want. I find that completely bizarre considering that the first, I'd say until about 15, uh, the mother is the better parent because they are more naturally emotional because of the estrogen. Inside of them and the biology of them, they are more emotional beings, so they have more care and time and patience with their child as they are growing and learning the external world. Um, so these parent, these mothers who have a baby and then six months later go back to work and are wondering why they're feeling lost and not having purpose is because they're not even looking at what's right below them, which is their son looking into their eyes or the daughter. Um, so... Um, yeah, and for in the 1950s, a woman could stay at home looking after the children while a man went to work and they could still own a bit uh, uh, a house, they could have food, they could have cars, they could have holidays, they could have everything they wanted. But as soon as the woman, uh, women wanted to come into the workplace as a continuous equality of men, um, I think the 1% and the people who run these businesses thought it was hilarious because they knew they could pay everybody less now. They, had to, they paid men much more and it was just men mostly. Um, now it's everyone, they cut, kind of cut it in half and we still can't even afford anything. So now we've got two people in the work, um, household going to, going to work, working full time and can barely survive while their children is wondering where their education is coming from about life because they're getting it from a daycare person who actually has no soul value about each other. They don't care about each other. You don't care about, he's not going to, they're not going to care about each other. So your mum's at work, you're lost, feeling lonely, and that's the beginning of your psychological uh, defect as a child because you didn't have your parents there. Um, so yeah, and going back to the dating thing, um, the reason I think it's not working for me, specifically, is because I'm not ugly. I'm, you know, a little bit above average, you know, I've got quite nice traits in my face and um, I'm Sick, nearly six foot and you know I'm, I'm skinny I'm all these things I keep myself quite not whatever you want to call it um but I think the reason it isn't working you know for instance you know you're not going to comment on this video dude I've got to be honest like everyone like you're really ugly because I'm not I'm just very I'm 
I'm fine. I should do fine. Do you know what I mean? I should just be doing okay. I shouldn't obviously be, like, getting, like, fucking all these women going mad for me. Like, whoa! But I would, you know, I, I should be fine getting a, getting a girl, right? But I'm not. And um, the reason I believe I'm not is be okay, for instance, you you know, somebody could watch this and go, oh, what the fuck? It's just because you can't? Okay, let's think about it, right? Okay, so what do I do in life? Okay, so I draw and I make art and I make it continuously and, I, and people think it's very good and I sometimes get paid for it. Um, I learn, I'm continuously learning about different subjects and uh, myself to try and evolve myself and become the best man I can be and the more the most intelligent man I can be. Um, I'm very good to my friends and family. I'm very loyal. Um, I have my good morals. I have God. Um, um, I believe that I'm becoming an alpha male. Um, I can create good eye contact. I'm very good socially. Uh, I live in quite a nice building. Um, I understand what it means to be romantic. Um, okay, so why I believe it's not working is because I am not what women want anymore. That isn't what a woman wants. If I was doing drugs, I was getting, I was flipping out mentally. I was going clubbing all the time, getting drunk. I was putting memes and putting uh, subjects on my social media about death and uh, I'm depressed and what the culture wants to hear. Um, if I worked a very uh, average job that a, a rota of women and men will come out in and out like a pub, that would probably be a good way. Um, um, if I didn't take myself so seriously and I was like, everything's going to be what the fuck. If I said that women and men are equal, um, if I said I was pro-choice and I believed in abortion, if I said that I didn't believe in marriage, um, okay, um, I have a neurological disease that's called visual snow syndrome and my vision can blur, uh, and I wear these orange glasses. glasses, I guess that's probably a little bit, um, I don't whore myself out on social media. You don't get a lot of pictures of me doing like poses or showing my body or um, doing these things to try and sexually attract the other mate because I don't want it to be through lust. Um, I'm not into lust. Um, I eat a very clean, healthy diet. I am the opposite of what society wants out of a man now. Well, they think they don't want. And that is crazy. You comment what should... If if I'm missing something, comment it. If I'm being naive, comment what's the problem with me. That I really don't get many women attention. Why? Comment down below. Why I believe is because I am not what the destruction and the chaos of society... When it comes to women, want. If I was, I'd get women. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. If I had a social class where I just would like go to the pub with all my mates all the time, getting pissed and like going to parties, I guarantee I would get be getting laid, whatever you want to call that. I guarantee. But I'm not living like that because I'm intelligent. In fact, I'm highly intelligent. And I understand that no matter what, inside myself is where happiness and true value begins. And I am not going to fal uh, falsify myself. I'm not going to be fal false at, and pretend to be the, someone I'm not to, to get pussy and to get women. Because women are in a fallen state. Men are now in a fallen state. Because men need pussy. And it's not even women. Men need vaginas. It's, it's hardwired into us. We need to... In, that's... I just realised something. This is why women can't be leaders. 
A woman needs to look up to her man. As soon as she looks down at her man, and it's okay to look down at stuff, by the way. For instance, you don't look up to your children. You look down at them because you, you want to comfort them and you want them to learn and you want to build them up. That's okay. But me women should not ever look down at their men. If they look down at their men, they will abuse it. Because they are not natural leaders. Men are. Not all. Some women are good at it. Some women are unique. But we have the generalisation of the human. I'm not general. You know? Look at the fucking video I'm making right now. <laughs> so. Um, we have got to a point where women have become leaders. Of society and how it's working. And men have become pussies. Beta. Because they want pussy. So you'll have. Women will. Women's lust has got out of control. Women's lust has become, has come out of control. These women know they can fuck. Women can fuck. Easy. A man, not as easy. Uh, we have to fucking try as, to get to get laid. It's, it's really not like that. A fucking 7 out of 10 woman coming up to me is like, hi, like, let's go and have sex. It would be fucking hard for me to say no. I probably would now say no because I've been through so much psychologically and I understand that lust isn't what I need to go for. But boy, oh boy, if a woman did that to me, I ain't gonna, t I ain't gonna lie and say it wouldn't be like, um, um, no, no. what? No. Yes. I'm gone. No, damn it! <laughs> um, you know, and this is all life experience. Like, I'll never, ever forget what it was like at the end of my relationship when I was this fucking beta. I'm surprised you didn't fuck people and me go, it's okay. I was fucking beta bitch at the end of my relationship. I fucking tell you. And I will mention this because no one knows who she is, really. She goes, oh, it's so disgusting. I'm sorry, uh, I'm not going to say your name. If you ever, ever see these videos, which you probably won't, I'm sorry. But it's the truth of my life and I have to, I'm not going to say your name. So, um, she wanted to have sex and, and she became quite lustful when damage was happening. So when, and I did. So actually, no, I was on and off. So when a lot of damage was happening, she would want to have sex with me. And uh, there was this one time where I hadn't slept for like 40 hours and I was this mess and I barely could talk. And she came in and she was like, you know, trying to get me hard and whatever. And I was so lost and just down in the dumps. And, because, and it's not her fault. She's not a man. She's not supposed to raise me up from this. She's a woman. She didn't know what to do. She's too emotional. It was just harming her. She didn't know what to do. So um, I said I wanted to have love sex. I wanted to caress her. I wanted to just feel her for very long before I even interact sexually inside her. I just wanted to feel her. And she stopped me. And I said, what's going on? And she goes, I want to have rough sex. Where in the seven years I was with her, she would have never, ever, 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 ever said that. And I was like, what? And she was like, I want to have rough sex because it's the best, it's the best feeling, isn't it? And at the time, I was so fucking lost. I was so down. I didn't understand left to right that I kind of just didn't care. And I kind of just, I guess I did it. Or I didn't. But looking back at that. She was turning into what I was doing to her as a beta male. And what society is doing to women. That's powerful, what I just said. That's really powerful. Look what it was doing to her. She wanted me to just use and abuse her. And women want to be used and abused in sex these days. I see many memes of it. And memes are a subconscious state of what we are. 
and I see these memes of like a girl with fucking like a, a foot on her face while she's getting fucked, you know, really like, like, like horror, you know, I'm not even, I'm so not into stuff like that anymore. Um, and it's women posting it and men are like, oh yeah, oh. And it's like, what, what do you want? What the fuck do you want? This is fucked up. Where, what? And men want you to be like that? It's disgusting. I don't even think many people have experienced love sex, if I'm honest. I don't even know if my partner realised how important that, my ex, realised how important that love sex what we had was. Because I, she's a woman. She was good looking. She's being fucked. She's probably fucked like three months since I've been with her. At least, at least two. <laughs> because of society. She wasn't supposed to stay with me because I became beta. And as soon as I became beta and she looks down at me, she'll always look down at me. No matter what I do, she'll always talk. Uh, she'll have always pushed on it. She would have seen the weak. She saw the weakness in me. Heavy, heavy weakness in me. She can't look back. That's what actually what made her dump me. Uh, she was live, go, going to India and I was like, I'll die if you leave, I'll die if you leave. And she said that was the time she fell out of love with me because she saw it. And what she saw? Pure weakness. Pure weakness made her fall out of love with me. So. Everything is confused and backwards. And that's why we feel lost. Because when you feel lost, you want to commit suicide. Not at the initial, but it will begin. The beginning of not wanting to be alive starts while you're lost. Purpose, a road, is what keeps you alive. Considering we don't live in reverse, we live forward. That is forward. Everything I'm doing is for a purpose. Purpose, 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 purpose. That was a purpose. It goes on and on and on. And if we have a psychological state of no purpose, we're lost. And women and men, are, women and men aren't equal. Men are leaders. Not all. We're becoming beta. We become very weak. Do anything for the girl to get pussy. Men. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> a woman needs to look up to her man. We're their protectors. We protect them. Not just physically, psychologically. Most men are smarter. Look it up. We have to be. Women are light. Pure light. Women are innocent. There's always this very beautiful innocence in women, no matter what. Okay. Oh, hang on. Job. I am naked under here, so I gotta do it. Yeah, I have to be. I'm sorry if you. Oh fucking hell! I felt my bit. I put this on YouTube, and that's in there. That'd be hilarious, to be honest. Fuck it, I don't care. Um. Yeah, there's an innocence to women that is undeniable, isn't there? You know, this purity. That's just so amazing. And what does purity normally come into a form of? Purity normally means simplicity, really. It means just whole. And we could even say that about the skin of women. Women's skin are normally much more um, smooth and whole and not ruggedy. Women like scars on men. Women like a bit of roughness in the face. You know, women are just pure, beautiful, beautiful things they are. They're the goddesses of life. And I think this is something I said to my friend. I think women have realised that they had the resentment of life. They got resentful. Uh, capitalism made that, by the way, in the 60s when capitalism and the hippie revolution didn't work because it only came from naivety and taking drugs and actually not in and no perspective and actually wanting difference. The reason it didn't work. Um, and then capitalism worked and everyone settled down and they went into the methods and women at home having a TV on and just watching adverts and men are now indulging in capitalism. They're like, fuck this. No, I want to work. 
Um, wait, it came from anger. Um, what was my point now? Look, this is a a a, a this this has shown that I'm intelligent, hasn't it? This has shown that I understand things, hasn't it? Life is so fucking weird. It's not hard because I have self-love. I have God. Life is beautiful. I have hard times. I'll tell you that. I haven't even gotten to my fucking neurological disease. But, um... We're living a... It's in a we're in a fight. We're all going the wrong way. I'm a masculine man. I can't even grow a beard. I look I look young. But I'm very masculine. I am a very strong man. And I struggle with the routine of logos and, and order. Because everything around me is turned into chaos. So fascinating. You know? And... I've always... Oh, yeah. I think the best thing to do for a man to date is to realise that it's going to take longer than normal. You can settle, and you can settle for one of these women who uh, fuck you about. You can settle for one of these, you, you might want to get fucked by her. It's not even you fucking her anymore. <laughs> so, you you can settle for that. And become, I, I could do it. Do you have any idea? I could do this. I could get into a group that goes to pubs, and I could get a little job that does that. I could get loads of tattoos and put nose pins. I could do that. I could... I could do loads of things like that. I could pretend I'm not intelligent. I could pretend I'm pro-choice. I could t pretend that women uh, aren't the most privileged, privileged group in Western society at the moment. I could pretend that all of these things don't exist to get a bit of lust. To get a sweet. No thanks. No thank you. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll find one. It'll happen. That's my that's my conclusion. Just wait. I know lust is quite strong. It's all around us. Everything wants us to be lustful. But just wait. You'll find a girl. Just keep learning. Keep becoming better. Alright. I think that's it. Thank you.